today I'm going to show you how to make delicious homemade lasagna. For this lasagna I'll be using some onions, some garlic, some pepper, some tomato paste, some chopped up canned tomatoes, some oregano, some sweet chili, some salt, some beef and some broth which is just for me, water and a bouillon cube. So the ingredients that I just told you about was for my meat sauce to my lasagna and after I've made my meat sauce I'll tell you about the bechamel sauce. Um, first up I'll add in some oil in the pan and then I'll add in the onion and the garlic and the beef and when that's almost cooked I'll add in the uh, chopped tomatoes and the tomato paste and then I'll add in all the spices and then the broth and let it simmer for around 5 to 10 minutes. some cream and some milk, I just poured them in here together, some nutmeg, some shredded cheese, some pepper, some flour, some salt and also some butter. So I'm going to make my bechamel sauce over here in a little pot. First you add in your butter and your flour and just give it a good whisk and then you add in your cream and your milk little by little and when that's thicken up you add in your cheese, your nutmeg, your salt and your pepper and when that's all mixed your sauce is done. to sample the lasagna. First you add in some oil and just brush it around. Just so that the pasta won't stick. Like this. And then we start with some pasta sheets. And then you add in some of your meat sauce. Whoops. Like this. And then in with some of your meat sauce. And then on with some more meat sauce, and then some bechamel sauce, and then some pasta sheets, and some meat sauce, and some bechamel sauce, and then some pasta sheets, and then just keep on going until there's nothing left. So now I've used all of my meat sauce and my bechamel sauce, and then I'm just going to add some cheese to the top. 
And I'm also going to add some breadcrumbs to the top to give it a little crispiness. Now my lasagna is ready to get into the oven. Uh, it's preheated at 180 degrees C, conventional oven, and you just have to give your lasagna around 35 minutes and then it's done. And when it's done, I will return. with the cream and the milk when I did my bechamel sauce and that was because I had my cream in the freezer before using it uh, and that's why it gets so lumpy uh, so don't mind that that was not there was nothing wrong with this mixture and I hope you like this recipe for my lasagna uh, if you want to see the whole recipe just go to my blog just down below here and remember you can follow me on Facebook you can follow me on Instagram you can follow me on my blog also and Twitter and lots of other places. Please share this video, that would be awesome. And you can find the links for all the places you can follow me just down below here. And I hope to see you all again soon.